everyone, it's Dave from Curtis Crafts, and today I am making a miniature duster that is inspired by the hover modifications from Back to the Future 2. For the base of this project, I started off with a 1971 AMT Plymouth Duster Kit. I was originally trying to find something more 80s, but couldn't find anything in the store that I liked, so I settled on this. And it's a car that somebody was still driving around in the 80s, and now. I cut off the trunk because this is where I want to mount some futuristic looking rockets to the back, similar to how the DeLorean was in Back to the Future. All the background cars in the movie seem to just be various 80s cars with lots of things glued to them with some radical paint jobs, and I wanted this to be no exception. I'm making the large rocket booster assembly out of some 16th inch styrene, and then I'm going to use some of the engine parts that came with the car to dress it up. On top of that, I have some other military kits lying around, and I'm going to be kit bashing parts off of those. But first, I have to mock up and fit the booster assembly to the back of this car. Once that whole assembly is fit in place, I make up some filler panels for the sides and the top to help bring everything together. For any filler parts I need to custom fit, I draw out a template using some translucent tape that I lay over the part and then trace the outline with a pen. Once I have the outline, I transfer it over to a piece of styrene, cut it out, and then use Weld on 3 to secure it to the body. Add some more details to the top, permanently glue the hood down since it'll never need to open, and once that's complete I start gluing in some of the extra leftover parts from the original model kit to use as greeblies. The air intake, valve covers, and almost everything winds up getting used, though most of it is shaved or cut in some manner. After that everything gets primed gray and then painted up in a turquoise color that I mixed. Once the body is painted, I move on to adding in all the silver details as well as make the black wiper blades. And then I use the same tape template method from earlier to make some side windows, which are originally not included with this car because they intended for you to be able to look in, but that is not where I'm going with this project. I'm going to be blacking the windows out and then later on spraying a coat of red rum by Turbo Dork on the fronts. Black just makes a really nice base coat whenever you do a metallic paint. The hovering wheel assemblies are up next and these are always going to be in the downward facing position much like the DeLorean used whenever it was flying. Plus it just looks cool and I have all these extra tank wheels and I'm going to glue these to the bottom of the regular duster wheels. After that the tires will go on and then on top of those some suspension from an Abrams tank which will later get some cabling and wires. Then I seal off some more of the bottom of the body so that I have a place to mount my wheel assemblies. And once those are on, it's starting to look like a thing. At this point I mask off the car and spray the windows with the red rum by Turbo Dork, which is just a really radical looking red metallic paint, which is going to be perfect for these windows. And after that I decided it didn't have a radical enough paint job, so I went and added some hyperculture in a stripe across the side of the body, which is kind of a bright pink that fades to purple in a metallic paint. I really like these paints, I like the name of the paints, and they come out of the airbrush really well even with minimal thinning. With all the other details in place and most of the paint on the body completed, I glue some wires to the side of the body to imitate large hoses running down the side of the car, and connecting the front hovering mechanism to whatever this is in the back. 
These will later be weathered along with the rest of the body and I'm going to paint some holding straps on top of them. More details get painted on with silver and gold and gray, and then I completely changed my plan of what the hood was going to look like, cut a giant hole in it so that I could put some greeblies in it to make it look like some kind of... Actually, I don't even know at this point. I'm just adding things. What are you doing? Not even really sure. Just doing what looks cool now. Sick. Oh, no doubt. And then after that, I add on some weathering powders and a very light wash to a few areas. I want it to look like it's seen a little bit of use, just some dirt, mud, and a little bit of grime. Once that's all complete, I hook some fishing line to a couple parts on the vehicle, and then immediately regret trying to use a green or black screen behind a vehicle that's mostly green and has a lot of black details. But that's this project, and make sure you subscribe for the next one. Come on.